So here's a perspective you haven't seen in the down-to-earth woodworking shop before. I'm on the floor with the mobile sanding center getting ready to start putting in the drawer slides. Why am I on the floor? Well, this would be easier to work on if it was up on a bench, but the fact of the matter is, is it's so doggone heavy, I just don't want to fool with lifting it back down after the drawers are all in. So I'm just going to do it down here. So I've worked out the uh, spacing between the drawers and where I want the slides to be located. Let's go take a look first at how I did that. To get ready to install the drawers, I came back over to my whiteboard here and drew a couple of rectangles representing the openings in the cabinets. And then I sketched in the four drawers on this cabinet and the three drawers on this cabinet and I wrote in the sizes. Then I added the dimensions of the drawers. These four drawers, top to bottom, just the drawers, added up to 22 and a half inches. These three drawers, just the drawers without any spacing between them, added up also to 22 and a half inches. My height inside from bottom to top on both openings is 24 and 7 eighths. That's a difference of 2 and 3 eighths inch. To make it easy, I changed all that to just eighths and it's 19 eighths. So then I figured out to make kind of even spacing here, I would start with 3 eighths at the bottom and then between these two drawers 5 eighths, 5 eighths between these two, leaving 6 eighths or 3 quarters of an inch at the top. Over here where I have four drawers, I'm going to start again with a 3 8 inch space at the bottom and put 4 8 4 8 or a half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch between these drawers, leaving me with a half inch space at the top. And that should come out just perfect. So all I need to do now is find or make some spacers that are these dimensions so I can use them to set my drawer slides. Once I worked out all the dimensions, then I went looking for some spacers, and you know that's usually what I do, is I look around until I find some scraps that are about the right size, and those become my spacers. And I kind of got tired of doing that all the time, so I spent 10 minutes, and I actually made some nice spacers. I took some 3 quarter inch plywood, and I ripped them exactly to size. I made four of these that are 3 eighths of an inch. I labeled them on both ends so that they're easy to spot. I also made four that are a half an inch. I made four 5 eighths inch. And this is a 1 quarter inch spacer. I'm only going to use it one time and I can do it one side at a time. I only have one, but that'll be okay. So for my first slide, I'm going to mount it one quarter inch off the floor of the cabinet. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the slides out and uh, figure out which is, there we go, that's the right direction. That works nice. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. So I'll put that slide on top of this quarter inch spacer and I'm going to flush the front of the slide up to the front of the cabinet before the trim is applied. Just to make sure it's flush, I can just take a little scrap of wood here yep, and make sure it's absolutely flush with the corner. And while holding that in place then, all I have to do is just slide this part way out and put one screw back here in the back. Then I can slide this out a little bit further and I can put another screw in the middle and then I can slide it out all the way and I can get to the screw in the front and that slide will be attached. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side and the first pair of slides will be in. So let's get those installed.
quick and easy. Now let's put a drawer in. Okay, so now what I've done is uh, I've taken my 3 8 inch spacer because I wanted the bottom of the drawer to be 3 8 of an inch off the deck of the cabinet and I'm putting a 3 8 spacer on this side and one on this side and I've pulled the ends of the drawer slides out just slightly and that's only to make it easier to grab those and I'll show you what I mean by that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this I'm going to set it pretty far back in here and I'm going to push it down on both sides until it makes contact, nice tight fit, and it makes contact with those 3 8 inch spacers. Then with these little ends partly pulled out here, I'm going to flush these right to the front of the drawer box. And I'll just use a little block of wood here yep, to make sure I get it just right. I want to make sure that the drawer is pushed all the way down onto those spacers and then all I got to do is put one screw in the front here and one screw in the front over here. Now remember you need to, with well, these are half inch uh, plywood drawer boxes and the screws that come with the drawer slides are too long. They'll go through your drawer so I'm using half inch long number eight actually sheet metal screws and they work just fine. So we're going to fasten these at the front. And it doesn't really matter what hole you use. Because these are going to be lined up. There are, are elongated holes that run this way and this way. And then there's just straight through holes. The elongated holes are so that you can make adjustments in the drawers. But... If you install your drawers this way, you won't need to make any alignments. Okay, got the first screw in. So now what I'm going to do while this stays on the spacers is just slide it out a little bit until I can get to the location for the middle screw. And we'll put the middle screw in. four screws in, there's little chance that this drawer is going to move. So we'll just go ahead and slide it all the way out. I'm not really going to be that concerned about the spacers at this point because it's attached. And we're just going to put a screw back here in the very back of the drawer. Assuming I can get to the hole. There we go. One more over on this side. And there we go. Now we'll pull our spacers out. One drawer in. Now we're going to put the spacers on top of this drawer to uh, locate the next set of slides. Okay, so referring to the drawing, I want my next drawer, the bottom of that drawer, to be 5 eighths of an inch from this drawer. So I'm going to space the drawer slide itself up a half an inch. That uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's kind of an arbitrary uh, dimension to some extent, but uh, half an inch is as good as anything, and I happen to have half inch spacers. I'm going to put two of them here. And that, uh, that second one is really just to keep the first one from falling off. So we're just going to put that right there. Flush it up. And put a screw back here in the back. Before I snug that screw in, I'm just double checking to make sure that this hasn't moved. And then I'll put all this way in. Okay. And we just repeat the process.
for the next drawer. Now we're going to switch to our 5 8 inch spacers. Put those on top of this drawer. We'll set the other drawer in there and screw it in place just like the other one. Okay, and just like before, we'll just drop this in back towards the back. And we'll pull our drawer slide out, flush it up with the front, make sure we're down on the spacer. And we'll attach it. And there we go. And we just keep on going. I'm going to be able to put a lot of sanding supplies in these drawers and they come out all the way to where the back side is flush with the front. Perfect. So that didn't take too long. That's pretty easy. And uh, all we got to do now is uh, put the four drawers in this other end and then we'll start doing some trim work. All right. Now, admittedly, you know, you could look at this and say, oh yeah, but you know, with uh, some fancy camera work, he's making this look pretty easy. So, I thought what I'd do is, uh, using the middle, or one of the middle drawers on this side, just time myself and see how long it takes, start to finish, to put in the next drawer. So you can kind of get an idea of what's really going on. Got this little uh, stopwatch uh, function on my phone, and so we'll just start it right now, <clears throat> and we'll set it up here. Hopefully it won't fall off. I've got my uh, spacers. I'll put those in place. And we'll get to work. And let's see what we got. Five minutes and 47 seconds. Five minutes and 47 seconds. So if you're used to measuring and obsessing and sweating bullets over drawer slides, follow this easy, easy way to do it. And in just shy of six minutes per drawer, you'll have them all installed. I'm just glad the phone didn't ring while we were doing that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.